welcome to the Lord of the Dank. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are, it's Friday and it's time for another Lord of the Dank review. This time we are doing Les from Two Hands Brewing. This is his Shooting Dank Spear. So I'm a bit looking a bit odd because I'm just trying a new camera setup. So <clears throat> let's have a look at what we got. Uh, Shooting Dank's IPA, fully hopped and ready to unlock. Now this IPA was brewed for the Lord of the Dank competition. It's it is aggressively hopped with an obscene amount of hops, including Chinook, Centennial Columbus, Simcoe, Rawaka, and Mosaic. It, uh, in a massive Whirlpool edition, uh, double dry hop and keg hop also. Fermented with WLP 644. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he used like 700 grams. I think. It was just an obscene amount. He kept giving us updates. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, big thanks to, uh, to Les for your very kind review of my <coughs> well, um, Hank the Dank Yank. So hopefully I'll enjoy this one as much. It's about 7%. So, a little bit of a hiss. <coughs> but again, these, these bottles, 500 mils, I can't buy them anywhere here. Maybe you can tell me where you got them from, Les. Oh, look at that. Nice and clear. Good carb. Not too aggressively uh, carved, but certainly enough. Let's have a look. See that? Lovely colour. I'll get the old get the old torch. There we go. Big big torch. Look at that colour. Beautiful kind of golden colour, really nice. Um, good carbonation, just sort of slowly coming up from the uh, from the bottom of the glass. Not a huge head, uh, but it's. I don't know if you can see it. It's sort of a thin. You can just see it there. A bit of a thin cap. I'm trying not to pour it all over my keyboard. Uh, thin cap. It's going for a smell. This is quite cold. I just took it out of the fridge. So, uh, just getting a little bit of that malt. Sweet malt, a bit of caramel coming through. But yeah. I'm not getting a heap of hops, and I'm getting a little bit of the Simcoe just kind of poking through. But yeah, that's, um, uh, apparently the 644 yeast is just like pineapple esters which I might be kind of confusing with hops or vice versa but I can definitely smell a little bit of Simcoe poking through but yeah I think it's a bit cold I'll, I'll come back and I'll let it warm up a bit but let's go for a taste whoa Wow. <laughs> it's so, the smell is so subdued and you you um you take a sip and then just boom, flavor explosion. That's that's pretty cool. Um what the hell's happening in there though? It's, just, <laughs> it's so mate, so full on. Yeah, um, what was it? Uh, which hop is it? I think it's the Columbus that I'm getting. Maybe the Chinook as well. It's quite a... Um, oh, there's such a depth in the bitterness. Uh, it's probably... Uh, I'm, I'm putting this around 60 to 70 um, IBUs. Thereabouts. It's It doesn't fit... It's um, it's got bite to it. I don't think it's too much though. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a. Um, I wouldn't say sharp, but it's a. And it's not harsh, but it's. Um, 
it's a, it, I, I'm going to use a sound term. It's a very narrow band of bitterness for me. It's just like, it just comes across in one point of the tongue. There you go. Bit of the head coming up now. Yeah. Um, it's got a nice dry finish and um, the malt sweetness. Actually, I think the um, the balance of the caramel uh, malt sweetness of this beer is actually pretty good because um, it's staying out of the way of the hops so you get more of that bitterness cutting through yeah it's starting to warm up now it's starting to get a bit more of the Simcoe coming out and some oh, I can't put my finger on what hop I'm smelling but I think there's a bit of the juiciness from the Rawaka I'm not getting a heap of mosaic. I'm not hugely familiar with mosaic, actually, but, uh, you know, they talk about mango and stuff like that. Hmm. I'm going to let this warm up and come back rather than waffle on for about 30 minutes. So, write some notes and we'll be back. All right. So, done a bit of marking. This has warmed up a bit. Um, hi, hi, Les. Uh... There's so much going on in this. Uh, as it warmed up, there's this real, um, I think it's from the yeast. It's almost like a overripe pineapple that's just starting to go a little bit like brown and starting to ferment a little bit. <laughs> Mixed with like sweaty, <laughs> it sounds really bad, but I don't mean it in a bad way. It's almost like, you know, like, uh, sweaty gym, like the smell of just sweat and moist, moisture. <laughs> it's such a bizarre smell. That's what, that's my take on it anyway. Uh, but yeah, um, really, really nice beer. Um, I love the colour. It's not too dissimilar to mine actually, um, but... You know, it has a bit of haze on it from the from the uh, the hops, I'm guessing, because it's pretty clear other than that. Um, carbonation is probably moderate to light, but that is, I mean, you can see on the glass there, uh, there's definitely carbonation in it. Um, the style for a double IPA is definitely higher, but I'm not such a fan of that. I, I prefer it much more like this, so um, top marks for that one. For my personal preference, um, I am getting this slight, um, I associate it with it like a medicinal taste, but I don't think it's a fault. Uh, the only other beer that I have had the same taste of my homebrew is my Melba IPA, um, single hop IPA, and I dry hop that at... I think 11 grams per litre and I didn't cold crush it and I think it was the sheer amount of hot matter still in suspension gave me that sort of chlorophyll plant matter sort of it's, it's almost like a, a little bit of a pepperminty um, flavour which is not unpleasant but uh, I think with everything else that's going on in this beer it kind of just makes it really difficult to, to focus on all the flavours just because there's just so much going on. But I, I really like the the balance between the very, very slight sweetness in, in the malt um, with, I'd call it like a, a firm, but not not aggressive, but it's, it's a really broad bittering across the palate. Um, I don't know if you've done multiple hops for your 60 minute edition or different variations or maybe it's just the, the sheer amount of dry hop because you, you do get some bitterness from, from dry hopping. Um, that's just kind of creating this really um, multi-layered um, bitterness effect which is really quite interesting. It's not usually you just feel bitterness at the back or at the front or a sharp bitterness. It's not sharp at all. It's really interesting how broad um, and, and layered the bitterness is. <clears throat> so yeah, um, top beer, uh, top beer Liz. Um, if I bought that in the store with my hard-earned cash, I'd be pretty, 
pretty stoked with that. Um, so yeah, this has been my review of Shooting Danks by Two Hands Brewing. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. Happy Friday everybody and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh,